Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain M array FSK with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I will discuss about basics and equation of M array FSK. After that, I will explain symbol duration of M FSK. After that, I will explain spacing between symbols in MFSK. After that, I will explain bandwidth of MFSK. After that, I will explain calculation of frequencies of MFSK. And at last, I will solve one example based on MFSK. So in this video, I will explain M array FSK along with its mathematics. And at last, I will solve one example. So let us start this video with first agenda. That is basics of M array FSK. See here this M is modulation order that explains number of frequencies in given frequency shift key. In my last video, I have discussed about FSK that is frequency shift key. If you talk about M array FSK, then here M is modulation order. Here we will be having m number of frequencies with given frequency shift key. So m is modulation order or one can say it is number of symbols and with each symbol here there will be one carrier frequency, right? So here first of all you need to understand what is m. m is number of symbols or one can say number of frequencies available with given FSK. And if you want to relate this M along with number of bits per symbol, then M will be 2 to the power N. Here, this small n, that is number of bits per symbol. If you want to identify small n, then you will have to take log at both of the sides and you will be getting small n, that is log of base 2 M, where this small n is number of bits per symbol and M is number of symbols. Now I'll explain you equation of MFSK. For that, first of all, I'll discuss about binary FSK. See in binary FSK, we have two symbols only. One symbol is there for logic one and second symbol is there for logic zero. And with each of these symbols, there will be two separate carrier frequencies. So here, if I say we have logic zero, that is having symbol x1 of t, then that is magnitude a into cos of 2 pi f1t. And with second symbol, we have frequency f2 and that will be a cos of 2 pi f2t. Here, this x1 of t that is associated with logic 0 and x2 of t that is associated with logic 1. So this is about binary FSK. But when it comes to M array FSK, at that time we will be having M number of frequencies and we will be having M number of symbols, right? So for M FSK, let me generalize the equation. See for ith symbol, we will be having A cos of 2 pi Fi t, where Fi is frequency associated with ith symbol right and for m array fsk we have m number of symbols right so this i that will be vary from 1 to m see this a is magnitude of given symbol and if you identify the power of symbol that is ps then this magnitude is square root of 2 ps that i have already explained in my earlier video with amplitude shift key, right. Here fi, that is ith frequency with given symbol, right. So here this i, that is varying from 1 to m, as we have in total m frequencies available with m array fsk, right. Now let me explain symbol duration. See symbol duration is ts. Here how many symbols are there? In total, m symbols are there. With each symbol, how many bits are there? In total, n bits are there. So symbol duration, that will be n into bit duration, right? 
So number of bits per symbol into bit duration that will be symbol duration and based on symbol duration one can understand symbol frequency that is 1 by Ts and based on bit duration one can understand bit frequency that is 1 by Tb right. So that is how symbol duration and bit durations are related with each other. Ts is equals to small n into Tb where small n is number of bits per symbol. Now I'll explain you spacing between symbols in MFSK. So here I'll consider binary FSK. See in binary FSK we have two carrier frequencies. One carrier frequency is F1 and second carrier frequency is F2. F1 is associated with logic 0 and F2 is associated with logic 1, right? So first of all, you need to place a point on this axis. So here with logic 1, we have one symbol. Here amplitude of this symbol is square root of ES. And here we have second carrier that is having symbol with amplitude square root of ES where ES is energy of symbol. You can observe here when you talk about spacing between symbols that explains Euclidean distance in between symbol. So here see Euclidean di distance that is diagonal distance over here as these frequencies are orthogonal to each other. So if you identify diagonal distance over here then that will be square root of 2 ES. And what is ES? ES is n into eb right so here you can observe euclidean distance in between two symbol that is square root of 2 n eb and n eb is energy of symbol right and based on this spacing one can understand how well one can detect this symbol without error so for proper detection of symbol there has to have larger distance in between symbol. In frequency shifting, we have better spacing in between symbols, but here there is an issue of bandwidth. So now I'll explain you calculation of bandwidth. See calculation of bandwidth that one can do based on Nyquist rate. As per Nyquist rate, bandwidth will be symbol frequency into two, right? bandwidth will be symbol frequency into 2. But here how many symbols are there? We have m symbols. So bandwidth will be 2m into symbol frequency. Now what is m? This m is 2 to the power n and what is fs? fs is bit frequency divided by n. So here this m is 2 to the power n and this symbol frequency is bit frequency divided by n. So if you simplify this, then this will be 2 to the power n plus 1 divided by n into fb. So this is bandwidth. Now if you observe the bandwidth of m array fsk, so that is quite large, right? So here disadvantage is based on bandwidth, but advantage is based on higher Euclidean distance in between symbol, right? Now let me explain frequencies of MFSK. See with MFSK there will be M number of symbols with each symbol there will be individual frequency right. So if I say there are M number of frequencies available with MFSK and if you want to calculate ith frequency of MFSK then that can be calculated by FC. This FC is center frequency plus 2i minus m minus 1 into fd where this fd is frequency deviation. So this ith frequency of mfsk that is fc where this fc is center frequency this fd is frequency deviation right. So by using this equation one can calculate frequency of any symbol right. Now let me solve one problem based on MFSK. So first of all, let me read the question over here. For a 4 FSK system means here number of symbols are 4. The carrier frequency is 250 kilohertz. So here carrier frequency means center frequency. 
that is 250 kilohertz. Frequency deviation is 25 kilohertz. We need to determine number of bits per symbol and we need to identify individual carrier frequencies. Right. So first of all, let me note down the data which is given to us. Here we have number of symbols that is 4. Here we have carrier frequency that is center frequency that is 250 kilohertz. Here we have a frequency deviation that is of 25 kilohertz. Now, first of all, I'll explain number of bits per symbol that one can calculate based on M. See, number of bits per symbol that is log base to M where M is 4. So, log base to 4 that is 2 and one should know See, this n is number of bits per symbol, right? Now, let me explain individual carrier frequencies for individual symbols. Here we have how many frequencies? Four frequencies. I have already told you what is the equation? Fi is equals to Fc plus 2i minus m minus 1 into Fd. Here, Fc and Fd that is there with us. So, let me note down the equation first. Now, when you talk about first carrier frequency, then Fc is 250, Fd is 25 and here I is 1. So, you can observe 250 plus 2 minus 4 minus 1 into 25. So, here we have 2 minus 5 means minus 3 into 25. So, 250 minus 75 that is 175 kilohertz. So, that is first carrier frequency of first symbol. Similarly, second carrier frequency will be 250 and instead of i, now I have placed 2. So, 2 into 2, 4, minus 4, minus 1, m is 4, that one should know. So, 4 minus 4 minus 1, so that is minus 1 into 25. So, 250 minus 25, that is 225 kilohertz. So, that is second carrier. Similarly, third carrier in which we need to substitute i is equals to 3. So, this will be 6 over here. So, 6 minus 5 that is 1 into 25. So, 250 plus 25 that is 275 kilohertz. That is carrier of third symbol and carrier of fourth symbol is having i is equals to 4 over here. So, here we will be having 8. So, 8 minus 4 minus 1. So, this will be 3 into 25. So, 75 plus 250 that will be 325 right so here we have 325 kilohertz so that is how one can understand calculation of individual frequency with given symbol one can understand bits per symbol one can also understand all the mathematics like how to understand bandwidth what will be the euclidean distance between symbols in mfsk as well as one can understand symbol duration and bit duration and relation in between that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.